Fraser, just. Uh, I think there are, there are two important points that need to be made in response to that question, and I think it's, it's the right question to ask here. The, the first one is, you talk about this only being useful for police if a crime has been committed, mm -hmm. right, in a sort of a post-offense investigation. Yeah. And I think, and I also want to address your question where you ask about, did people in the past protest these ledgers? I think the answer is the same. In fact, these ledgers were previously used, this is historical fact, to confiscate firearms that had been prescribed as prohibited by Parliament. In other words, a person buys a non-restricted firearm, it was non-restricted when they bought it, Parliament arbitrarily reclassifies it. These ledgers themselves were used pre-C68 to go and track down those firearms and confiscate them for law-abiding owners. No crime committed there. Um, we talk about green-bound books. I don't think I need to be a prophet to suggest that in a, it's 2012, in a very short amount of time, the CFOs will say, who's using green bound books anymore? Here's a computer program, here's a, a, an Excel spreadsheet, input the data in there, and all of a sudden, we've crossed the Rubicon from a paper ledger system to a computer database that can easily be manipulated and turned into a gun registry. And I don't think one needs to overly speculate on that point, it, it's just common sense. I know if I was the chief firearms officer, I would ask, why on earth in 2012 are we using handwritten green bound books? And finally, I would say the police, some police officers, some chiefs of police, perhaps even some frontline officers have said that these are powers that they would like to have. In a liberal democracy, and I'm speaking unabashedly as the criminal defense lawyer at the table, we have to strike a balance between the powers that police want. I'm sure the police would like to have a slew of powers. We have to strike the balance between what they say will help them and is necessary in their investigation and the right of our citizens to live without government interference and to use their legally purchased property peaceably. And of course, that's what our parliament is for. And that's what our courts are for, is to strike that balance. So simply the fact that the police requested, in my respectful view, is not enough rationale to sign it into law.